Hello. <laughs> I see some comments rolling in. We're getting ready here. All right. All right. And our timer is done. Let me get this on out of here. So hello, hello there. I am Jamie Newberry. This is the Picture This Show. It is episode one, and we're going to be talking about tissue paper. So um, not just talking about tissue paper, but using it to make some Picture This clothing designs. So we decided to go ahead and start a little show. We had done a few how-tos, and what we got uh, was a lot of wonderful feedback from you, our community, about how you'd really like to get a closer look at what I was doing while I was doing it. So um, my partner, Ken Finney, who's over running the machines here, um, he, came, he came up with this setup. Um, you know, he, he created this setup for me to do this sort of thing, and um, I'm super excited about it. So this is our first run and we're just gonna give it a shot. All of these are done live, so there's no editing. You're welcome to ask questions along the way. Occasionally, I'll look up and see the comments and I'm able to respond. I'm gonna have a little segment toward the end after we do the sort of how-to activity. I'll do a little segment at the end where I ask for questions and I can answer them for you live on the spot. And if you have any suggestions, um, that would be awesome too. So let's dive in, shall we? All right. All right. So today, again, we're going to use tissue paper. What I've got, my materials list, I've got a picture of this clothing template. And just to kind of, I hollowed it out. So I pre-hollowed it out so that it has no background because I like I like a colored background, so we'll show you how to do that. Some of our other materials that I have for this, well, tissue paper, of course, I got a rainbow array. I got a nice little palette here of, um, of tissue paper that I'm excited to use, and I've got a pair of scissors. I've got a cup of water, just in case I need to make that tissue paper lay down on top of itself. If it doesn't layer nicely, if it creates weird shadows, I'm gonna use this fantastic paintbrush. I got a pretty big watercolor paintbrush here. Um, I guess you could use it for any sort of paint, but um, acrylics or, or whatever, but I got a watercolor brush, I got a cup of water, and um, oh, I would put that right over my head, look at that. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I, these are my materials for today. I also have a few markers. I always keep a few markers on hand just in case I want to add a few little doodles or whatever. So let's dive in and let's do a little tutorial on how to use tissue paper on your picture of this clothing template to make a really neat design. So something, a question that we often get is like, why wouldn't I just use fabric markers and a pre-made t-shirt or, or whatever? But our product is different than that. Like those are awesome creative um, outlets and we encourage all sorts of creativity. But one of the cool things that makes us different is the ability to do quite literally anything that you can imagine, anything that you can photograph on one of our templates, we can bring that to life. And you may even notice like this background here, this is actually one of our dresses from a design I did. I'll talk a little more about that later. Um, let's dive in, shall we? All right, now if you happen to have some materials handy with you and you wanna follow along, that would be awesome. That could be something that, um, that we do a little more of as this show grows, as we evolve, and we do um, a full 10 episode season. So that's what you've got to look forward to. <laughs> All right. All right. So just to start, I'm going to take a couple pieces of tissue paper, choose a color. Now, the first thing I want to do, I mentioned that I think the white backgrounds are a little boring. Um, one of my favorite colors when I see it come through our shop is yellow. Yellow prints so beautifully. Uh, on our on our design. So what I'm going to do is take my pre hollowed out template. I'm going to leave the white paper behind it because I like to have something a little solid back there. And I'm going to lay this down. I like to double it up and I want to show you why. Okay, when I have the you know, tissue paper is a little transparent, right? So if you can see this, you can kind of see the difference between one layer of tissue paper and two layers. Two layers just makes it ever so slightly darker, ever so slightly uh, more solid, and I prefer that. So you can always do this to your preference. But I really like to, so I'm gonna fold it in half, right, right like this. Now, something you, you do wanna be mindful of with the stuff when you're making, with picture this clothing stuff, is um, folds and creases and stuff like that. 
they do print. So um, you want to be aware of where folds and shadows and creases and things like that come up. And, you know, it's sometimes it's great because it's part of the look and it really when, you know, when it's photographed, like you can see this confetti here in the background, this is a printed dress, this is fabric, and it looks like really giant confetti. So, you know, things get scaled up and amplified, but it looks real and it's super cool. Let's get rid of this little sticky note, shall we? Um, all right, so we've got our background color. I like a nice solid color to give us a good foundation. And then I'm gonna create with, um, let's try about pink. I like pink, pink tissue paper. I'm gonna take a folded edge and I'm just going to tear out a pretty big shape here. And the reason I did it on a fold is so when I unfold it, I should share my vision with you. I wanna do a butterfly. I learned that um, butterfly, we have a butterfly sanctuary here in Las Vegas. Picture this clothing is based in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, there's a place called Springs Preserve here in town and they are opening the butterfly sanctuary in March. So I was thinking it would be really cool to get a butterfly design going and maybe take my daughters to to the butterfly sanctuary in their little picture of those clothing dresses. So it'd be just a fun activity, get all dressed up for it. Maybe I'll make one for myself as well. Um, another really cool thing about this is when you, when you make a design, if you make, say I have a size 14 here, which is actually too big for my daughter, too small for me, but um, I have two daughters by the way, but my youngest Zia is way into this. My oldest Sophia, not so much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take another one here. Ooh, this one was a little bit shorter. Let's see. We'll start doing, we just start laying down shapes. And again, if you have another idea or a vision in mind, you can create anything that you want. I'm just gonna keep tearing these little pieces until I get the shape that I want. And if you would rather have those nice sharp um, scissored edges, that makes a really cool design too. So I'm gonna do that with this one. Oh, that's cute. Okay, now you notice that the paper is kind of puffing up. So I'm gonna bring in my little cup of water and my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna wet these down just a little bit. And it's okay to go right over the edges of that template. If you are not sure how you wanna go about it with the template or whatever, you can actually remove the template while you design, which is something I do frequently. When I'm doing a hollowed out design, a hollowed out template design, I'll just remove it and work on the workspace. And this is water, just water on tissue paper, which gives it, it, glues it down to itself pretty well. But if you want it to really stick permanently, you can add a little of the Elmer's glue to your water, just a tiny bit, it doesn't take much. Stir it up and it creates a nice little glue water, <laughs> a little paste water. I'm gonna set my template up here because when I'm all done, what this allows me to do is design kind of a bigger design, and then I can move the template around until I get it exactly where I want it positioned. That's one of the reasons I love using a hollowed out template over, you know, over artwork that I've made rather than just doing it right on the, the template. I do do the designs on the templates directly sometimes too. But all right, so I've got some sort of makeshift wings here. I think I'm gonna use green for a body. Let's try getting a little uh, butterfly body. I'm gonna just cut something out here. What does a butterfly body even look like? They're like bumpy, <laughs> bumpy and long and curvy. Let's try this with a little head. All right, hopefully I'm doing this in a place where you can see it. All right, and I'll get used to uh, this whole camera setup and working in a way that you know makes sense for uh, folks following along. As we go, I'll get better at it. But I'm so happy to have anybody who's joining joining. So hello. <laughs> All right. All right. So I kind of just you know. If you're doing this with kids too, um, you may be better artists than I am, and this is really just to give you ideas to run with. Um, but you know, kids, kids have awesome ideas. They have awesome imagination, and so sometimes just letting them go crazy with you know, like their shapes. Maybe they cut out a bunch of shapes, and you just collage stuff together. I'm gonna glue it, not glue it, but paste it down with water, stick it down a little bit, and you know, something that's kind of neat 
with uh, water, when you time to put water on the paper, it will bunch up and crinkle a little bit. So again, something to be aware of. It'll create shadows and strange little crinkling effects, but sometimes that's a really nice effect and it looks really nice printed. But if you're gonna add some marker to this, it will bleed. And sometimes that's a really beautiful effect on something like this. So you know, often butterflies have like little designs on their wings which are super cute. So I'm just gonna do this. And I wanna do more designs with, um, with the tissue paper than with marker because I think it's more fun and it challenges me to layer things and really, um, I don't know, figure some stuff out. So what I'm gonna do now, and I won't spend forever again, this is just to give you some ideas. I would love to see if, um, if anybody following along here today wants to create some of their own and share it, we would love to share it on our Facebook page where we have 40,000, we just passed the 40,000 likes mark. So thank you for all the support and the shares and just, I don't know, man, helping us build such a great community because it, it's really, it's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. We're doing something that we love doing and it's really neat just to see how, um, People have supported us and really taken to what we're doing. So I created a couple little blue dots here, little squarey sorts of dots. I'm gonna layer them on, use my awesome paintbrush there with some water, stick it down again. You can see that um, sometimes when it dries, it peels up again. And so I'm re-sticking it. If you use the Elmer's glue mixed in here, that won't happen. So not too, not too big a deal, but you can re-wet things constantly or you can let it peel up and see how it plays out. Or you can add a little glue and that will solve that whole, that whole deal. Let's add some little, let's see what colors do we have? We use some blue. I want a little bit more blue actually. I wanna make the little, little tiny ones over here. Let's just cut off the corners. Boop, see what shapes we get. Nice little shape. I make a lot of sound effects kind of inadvertently when, I, uh, when I'm doing stuff. So uh, lots of little boops and bops when I'm talking. Sorry if that's weird. <laughs> so, all right, so here we go. Ooh, yay, I like that. That's nice, nice little, little guy. And then let's give him some eyes. It seems like the blue might work nicely for little tiny eyes. I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to cut tiny, tiny little circles out of um, tissue paper here, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. All right, one, two, awesome. All right, and then uh, let me see if I can just pick these up by touching them. Let me get my finger just slightly damp, boop. And, oh, it's not as dark as I was hoping, but we can enhance, we can enhance with, uh, with marker if we need to. I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit before I do that though, so it doesn't bleed too much. And then what else does a butterfly have? Um, you know, you could do lots of flowers. They often have those little, let's just, let's use the marker to kind of wrap this up. Um, I'm gonna do these little things. And then at the bottom, I wanna do darker ones. So often the little butterfly, oops, has like that, little wispies. You can do the little dots like he's been flying around. <laughs> Little dots. And then if you wanna add more design, you can. Um, that's one of the cool things. Now check this out. We're gonna put the little paper right over so the little template. And then, you know, like I was talking, you can move this around a little and get it just the way you want it. You can have it positioned. So you can imagine where your neckline is, where the armpits are, and where the dress is gonna fall, sort of the waistline here. And you can kind of, you know, imagine. Imagine where that's gonna go. Don't forget when you do this to put your name on the bottom because that, let me show you this really cool thing, that actually gets printed. And since I'm using a dress as a background, that gets printed inside the hem of the dress. Look at that, that's my signature there from this design that I did. And um, that gets printed inside the dress. So make sure you fill that out nice and legibly. Um, my handwriting is not always the best example of that. So Jamie, this is gonna be my butterfly design. And when you photograph this, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little phone. Let me turn it on here and now you can see, I think you can see that I am framing it up. And when I frame it up, let me move this just a little bit. 
up here so that you can see I'm going to get a little bit of the outside when I do this. You want to make sure the lighting is as even as possible. Now sometimes when this paper is crinkling up, you might want to get something to weight it down. Something that we um, that we have done is we have this little frame somewhere. I placed it somewhere. Hang on. Here it is. We have this little frame. It's just like a matting frame that you can get at like Michael's or Walmart or any of those stores that have frames. And you can just get these little mat boards Amazon.com is another place. And this will help hold down the artwork um, a little bit. So you can do that, kind of smoosh it down. That helps the template not crinkle so much. And then you can take your photo. So frame it up nicely. Make sure you're not cutting off the name. The size doesn't matter so much because you can order this in any size. I think I started talking about that and didn't finish. So say I wanna make this dress for me and for my nine-year-old daughter, Zia, um, I can do that. I can just take the same image, upload it for her, place the order in her size, which is a size 12, and then or um, do the same thing for my size. I'm a woman's medium, so I can use the same image for both of those and we can, and we can scale it. And another really cool thing that I wanna show you, maybe you don't wanna dress, maybe you're not a dress wearer. I'm actually not much of a dress wearer, gonna be totally honest. But um, another thing that you can do is take the same design and throw a t-shirt template right over the top of it. How about that? That's pretty cool, right? So, and, all right. So yeah, I mean, that's what you can do with this. So imagine um, maybe you wanna do family shirts for your visit to the butterfly sanctuary and everybody gets a shirt. And so you can do this, you can do it in kid size, men's, women's, we do adults and kid sizes and we do um, them in dresses and t-shirts. So that sums it up for our very first little quick tutorial. Um, on how to do, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on here, on how to use a picture of this template uh, with tissue paper as a design source. And there are so many more things you can do um, than, than, than just a you know, very simple butterfly. I'm sure you can get layered and complex. There are artists who work with tissue paper out in the world. Eric Carle, who makes children's books and lots of really cool stuff is very inspirational to me. Um, I love looking at his stuff and maybe I'll work with this a little longer and share a few more designs. But this is, this is, basically, um, this is basically it, a quick example for today. And we'll do more complex stuff, you know. Um, I did, a while back I did, uh, my version of Van Gogh's Starry Night using Play-Doh. We'll demo some of that stuff too. So it's really fun. You can get really complex. You can keep it really simple. If you're working with little kids or you're making something for yourself, there's so much possibility here. And that's what we really wanna share. All right, so next week we're gonna do favorite things. We're gonna use a hollowed out template and bring a couple favorite things, 3D objects, uh, maybe a favorite blanket, etc. We're gonna do something like that and show you how that's done and how you can get a really great dress or t-shirt out of favorite things. So that's it. Um, I talked a little bit about the background art here. Each week we're gonna feature a different design behind my head <laughs> and, and I'll give a shout out to the designer. I did our first one with just my own work, um, but we'll give a shout out to the designer of whatever artwork we feature in the background and that'll become a part of our show. So I guess that's it. I wanna say thank you. Thank you for taking time to watch this if you did. And if you would, share. If you like what you see, share. Um, likes are awesome, like the page, like the video. All of that really helps little companies like ours to, um, you know, it helps us spread the word. It helps you spread, you help us <laughs> spread across the word, world. Um, we like folks to know what we're doing and that there are a lot of creative, imaginative ideas. We really just wanna bring happiness and joy into the world and we think this is a really fun way to do it. So um, special shout out again to Ken Finney for all the technical help here in making this video happen. All right. All right, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you next week, March 1st on Thursday, 11.45. I will be back with Favorite Things.